In the last video, we talked about uh, how you can add or perhaps subtract decimals and a couple of things. Um, and the one thing that you needed to remember was that you got to align the decimal. OK, now in this video, we're going to learn multiplication of division, uh, multiplication of decimals. We're not going to do division in this video. I'll make a separate video for that. But uh, for multiplication of uh, decimals, you got to remember again, just three words and it's that you forget the decimal. OK, now I know it sounds weird that how come we're talking about how to multiply decimals and here you're saying that you forget the decimal. Well, it'll make sense if you watch this video further. OK, now before before I dive into some example questions, there's something I want to mention here, and that is that if uh, I were to ask you what 0 0.2 squared is, and I'm pretty sure not all of you, but some of you might jump to conclusion and say it's 0 0.4. Well, you're wrong. You're absolutely wrong. And the reason behind that is that you jump to conclusion, okay, without paying attention to how decimals are multiplied, okay? So now let's see what the correct way of multiplying a decimal is and how you cannot make errors like these. And uh, trust me, I've seen this uh, every year uh, when I'm checking papers and that students do make this error. But uh, you, can, you can make sure to not let this happen to you if you learn the way to do it. Okay, so here's how you do it. So basically, what, what does 0 0.2 square basically mean? It means that you got to do 0 0.2 times 0 0.2. And as I said, that you forget about the decimals, that means if I forget about 0 0.2, uh, if I forget about the point in 0 0.2, that means I'm just looking at 0 0.2, which basically means that I'm just looking at 2, okay? Uh, since there's a zero before the decimal, it makes no difference. However, it had been something other than zero, it would have made all the difference. So that means that we're simply doing two times two, okay, which is equal to four. In fact, I didn't even need to write it like this. We know that two times two is four, right? I'm sure you do. Okay, so now as I mentioned earlier that you gotta make sure that you remember that you forget about the decimal. So we just did that. We forgot about the decimal and we ended up with four. Okay, now, well, you don't completely forget about the decimal. You forget about it for the time being. Now let's see how many decimal places we had in the beginning, okay? All together, we had two decimals, okay? So we had a decimal with 0 0.2, okay? And we had a decimal with 0 0.2. Okay, so that means we had a total of two decimals. So here's what I'm here's what I'm going to do right now. So when I do two times two, I get four. That means the decimal is right over here. Now I'm going to take it the number of places. So I'm, I'm going to take it two places back. Why two places? Because that's the total number of decimal places we had. So one and two, which is why two times two, like I said, is not 0 0.4. In fact, it is 0. 0, 04 and that is what the correct answer is now if this made sense to you that's great if it didn't nothing to worry about i have plenty of more examples lined up for you so let's say you're given 0 0.3 squared okay which basically means 0 0.3 times 0 0.3 now again i'm sure a lot of you would be tempted to say oh 0 0.3 squared is 0 0.9 well you're not I mean, you're not, you're not right, okay? You're, you're, you're wrong, okay? I'm just trying to be nice here. So 0 0.3 squared basically means 0 0.3 times 0 0.3. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, for the time being, forget about the decimal and just focus on the non, uh, just focus on the integers, the non-zero integers. So three times three, as we all know, is nine. So this is where the decimal is sitting right now. And let's see how many decimal places we have in total. So one with 0 0.3 and the other with 0 0.3. So that's altogether two decimal places. So I'm gonna bring the decimal two places backwards. So here's one and here's two. And this is where the decimal is now. And we are looking at 0 0.09 or 0 0.09, which is basically the same thing. Okay, now enough about squares. Let's uh, see how we can deal with other decimals. So let's say you're given 5.7 multiplied by 3.25. Okay, so forget about the decimal for now. And let's do 57 times 325. So in this case, what I would prefer is I would write, I would prefer to write 325 first and then multiply it by 57. So that means 325 times 57. And with addition and subtraction, we would fill up the missing places by zero. Here, you don't have to do that. I mean, you can, it's not gonna make a difference, except that you're just gonna make it unnecessarily. Um, you're just gonna make the question unnecessarily long for you. So seven times five is 35, and then seven times two is 14, and 14 plus three is 17. Seven times three is 21, 21 plus one is 22. And then you put a cross here, and now we start multiplying with this five here. So five times five is 25. So I'm gonna remove these two numbers so that I can carry the newer ones. Five times five is 25, so two carry, and then the five. 
5 times 2 is 10, 10 plus 1 is 12, so 1 carry, and we have 2 here. 5 times 3 is 15, 15 plus 1 is 16, so now there's no room to carry, so we're going to have to write 16, all of it over here. So 5, so this is basically 5 plus 0, so that's 5. 7 plus 5 is 12, so 1 carry, and then the 2. 2 plus 2 is 4, 4 plus 1 is 5. 2 plus 6 is 8, and then we have the 1. Okay. So now I'm going to write this entire number over here as it is for the time being, 18525. And now this is the point where I decide where I need to place the decimal. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to count the total number of decimal places we have or the total number of, de um, yeah, the total number of decimal places. So 7, so that's 1, 2, 5, so that's 3. So we have a total of 3 decimal places. So that means right now this is where the decimal is and I'm going to bring the decimal 3 places backwards. So 1, 2, and three so this is where it's going to be now so i'm looking at 18.525 and this is what my final answer looks like so one thing that you should do is one thing that i'm going to do also is that you should check your answer using a calculator and 18.525 is the correct answer okay so like i said in the last video also that this is something where you can just make questions up on your own and multiply them and then use a calculator to see whether you've done it correctly or not okay so let's say you got to do 0 0.75 multiplied by 3.2. Okay, so what I will do is I will ignore the decimal. So I'm just going to look at it as 75 times 32. So we're going to multiply 75 and 32 the regular way. So five, 2 times 5 is 10. 2 plus times 7 is 14. 14 plus 1 is 15. So put a cross here. I'm going to remove the numbers that I carried previously. 3 times 5 is 15. 3 times 7 is 21, and then 21 plus 1 is 22. Now we sum them up. 0, 5 plus 5 is 10, 2 plus 1 is 3, 3 plus 1 is 4, and then we have the 2. Okay, so I'm looking at 2400. Okay, now I need to place the decimal. So we have how many decimal places? We have 1, 2, and 3. So that means the decimal, which is right over here, I'm going to take it two places, three places backwards. So 1, 2, 3. So my final answer is 2.4. Now, it doesn't matter whether you write the 0 0.00 or you leave it as it is. So let's just check it on 0 0.75 times 3.2 is in fact 2.4. So there you go. This is how you can multiply decimals by just forgetting about the decimal and then bringing it back into the equation. And yeah, I hope this makes this concept at least easier for you. And I will encourage you guys to practice questions on your own and uh, hopefully work your way towards a better grade inshallah so that's all for this video see you guys in the next one until then take care bye, -bye.